<laughs> in Japan, in mm -hmm. Kanuiya. And how long before reinforcements would arrive? I can't even no. remember what and I read. This is really thick of me, oh, but I can't no. think right now. Well done for working through all of that. I don't think my brain's wrecked this much in about <laughs> ten years. It's a lot of concentration, isn't it? <laughs> the way Kara processes language gives Catherine a clear-cut diagnosis. Because of the dyslexic difficulty of decoding or breaking down words into their sounds, the effort that, that you are putting in to, to really make sure that you're reading the words accurately means that you're not holding on to the meaning at the same time. So Maybe sometimes I have to read it eight to ten times to get what it's meaning. Yes. She's also detected that Kara's short-term memory is weak. But there is a dip, if you like, in your ability to hold on to information in your mind in the short term. Mm -hmm. This is the most common characteristic of dyslexia, but it's a real eye-opener for Kara. I mean, in, in normal life, we have to do quite a lot of, you know, remembering messages, organising daily life, remembering where things have been put. Yeah. Are you well organised in that way? I would say all, all of those things are bad, very bad. I suspect that it's that memory challenge which is affecting your organisation as well. Um, it's just you've lost mm. it. It's slipped your mind or you, you're now concentrating on something else. So that is completely characteristic of dyslexia. The diagnosis has given Kara an explanation for her scattiness, but it's making her question why she's never faced up to her condition until now. I felt really, really naked in there. Suddenly today I was put in a situation where I couldn't, it was like I couldn't disappear. It's really weird because you know, it's just a silly little test, but it just made me re oh, go on. <laughs> it just made me realise that in life we just we we choose to to follow our comfort zone, and that's bad. You know, you should you should push yourself to to do things that aren't comfortable. Kara now realises that dyslexia has been holding her back more than she'd imagined. Since leaving EastEnders a year ago, she's been back on the audition circuit where she has to be able to read and learn scripts fast. My first line is, Ryan buys two breakfasts and doesn't eat both himself. Am um, I st still asleep? What? Ryan buys two breakfasts and doesn't eat both himself. Ryan buys two Over the years, Kara has developed her own ways of getting around the difficulties caused by dyslexia. My system is, I read a line and then I'll write it down, and then I just keep adding a line every time, more and more, until it really funnels in. But writing each line out more than ten times is a lengthy and painstaking process. I hate this part, really. If this was what acting was about, I probably wouldn't do it, because... But when you get there and start saying it out loud, that's when you realise that you, it's how amazing it is. It's worth this part. Kara often has to rely on her mum and dad to get the lines right. Mum? Yeah? Would you mind giving me a hand, please? Do you know where you come in? Yep. So, Molly, four replies in three days. The box room, there. It's small, but if you get rid of all the stuff, you can fit a bed in. No. no? The, it's not. It's the box room. It's the box room there. I'm not acting it at the moment. I'm just going yeah. learning the lines. OK, all right. Planning it's small, plan but till... if you... Dad, I need to learn that. But, um, it's small, but if you clear the stuff out, you can fit a bed in. It's you small. Can get a bed in, yeah. It's small, but if you clear the stuff out, you can get a bed in. If you get the stuff out, clear the stuff out. <laughs> It's small, <gasps> but if you clear the stuff out, you can get a bed in. Action. Many dyslexics find ways of getting around their difficulties, and relying on loved ones is common. When it comes to the audition the next day, Kara's on her own.
Kara is now wondering how much easier life is for people without dyslexia. During her four years on EastEnders, she was reading and memorizing up to 40 short scenes a week. <laughs> but she never talked about her condition, not even to her closest co-star, Ricky Groves. Hello. I bet you got loads of women back in Walford. No, not me. Yeah, right. No, I'm all about respect and commitment. We never discussed my dyslexia at work, did no. we? No, we never did. In the four years I was there? No. It never really appeared with you, you know. I think really? you... Well, you know, like all of us, you know, we had our uh, ups and downs with regards to, like, good days and bad days. But it was never a case of, like, oh, no, here comes the dyslexic again, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, so I'd do one line, and yeah. then I'd, I'd go over, I'd write it down about seven times, and then the second line, I'd add to that and write the two lines seven times, seven times. and just keep really? adding a line. Wow, I didn't know yeah. that. I did not know that. And then I'd learn your But it didn't lines. show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got it in here. Look, these are my. These Go are the words. So, with you? so this is one of my books. There might even be one of our scenes in Let's here. Have I have no idea. There's so just... this was you every night when you got yeah, home after a day is... of work. Look, hey, this is where I, I punch Phil. Do you remember? You like that? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah. That yeah this is our last episode. Episode three thousand eight hundred and forty-eight. Just for fun and a bit of reminiscing, would you learn it your way and I learn it my way and then we'll see how good our rem memories still are? Yeah, we'll do that, yeah. yeah. Right, go on then. Go. OK, I'm going to go over here. OK, I'll see what I can do. OK, good luck. <laughs> Non-dyslexics like Ricky take it for granted that they can read and retain information. Kara and other dyslexics often have to work much harder to do the same thing. Have you learnt it yet? Yeah. Wow. You've got a lot more than me, though. Yeah, so. that's a point. You haven't got that much. Well, I just said that to them. Don't ever go at me. There's a big difference in the time it's taking each of them. And this is just the last of over 150 episodes they acted together. To learn a scene like that, that scene probably take me, uh, on average, I suppose, you'd look at it for sort of 10... 15 minutes. And this was our last scene, so I'd probably have spent, goodness me, what, three hours maybe? Right. I am ready. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm quite excited. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I've realised doing this though? What have you realised? I have realised how good my long term memory is, and if they gave this to us a year before we filmed, I'd be blooming amazing. Think so? <laughs> See how it goes. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Gary! Stop the boat! Stop the boat. I don't know how to. You always make me laugh, Gary. Thanks for that. No, I'm not talking a little chuckle here. I mean right from the pit of my belly laughing. Oh, I'm good for something then, am I? You're good for a lot of things. So what if you've got a paunch and you're losing your hair? It's just the way it's styled. But I think... Don't tell me. You've all... Every time I've needed you, you've always been there for me. <laughs> I did it right there. Eh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Happy so days. Lovely. Happy days. Mm -hmm. Take care. Au revoir. Bye bye. Miss Emmy. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. <laughs> time scale of my learning and how slow I am is a really odd factor that I hadn't thought about. So yeah, I've probably taken ages and ages and ages to learn my lines, whereas normally it shouldn't really take that long. That's quite interesting. Cara's realising how little she's understood until now about how dyslexia defines her. I had decided what dyslexia was in my mind, what it meant, what it, how it affected me, and I'd put it in a, in a file and, and accepted, for me, that was that. And it's as if someone has suddenly added all these things that, is blowing, that are kind of blowing my mind. She's now going to find out how different her brain function is to that of non-dyslexics. Her brain scan results are through. When it came to reading familiar words, people of your age and intelligence are normally much quicker and more accurate when they're reading them. Mm -hmm. So you were dyslexic insofar as you were slower 
to respond. Mm -hmm. Kathy has discovered that Kara uses the same pathways in her brain to read as those without dyslexia, but she's using much more effort. So you were saying horse and donkey. But despite reading easy words, your brain is still working particularly hard. To read out words, Kara's brain must visually recognize the letters of a word, put those letters together, work out the meaning of the word, and then finally say the word out loud. This red is how high your activity was, and you can see that it's higher than all of the other typical readers. People who are speaking in a second language, when they're reading in English, they also show mm. more activity. I'm almost working like a French person reading yes. English. <laughs> yes, but these are... Exactly. <laughs> oh, God, that that. Is, that's not good then, is it? Despite the brave face, finding out that her memory and reading are significantly slower is troubling for Kara. I know this is a bit dramatic, but I end up sort of hating myself because I can't seem to get anything right sometimes. It really is in my hands now, and if I want to make certain changes in my life, it's, it's really down to me putting the work and the effort in. Dyslexia can't be cured, but specialist tuition can help adult dyslexics manage the everyday tasks made tricky. Kara has signed up for some one-to-one -one classes. Hello. Hiya. Tutor Claire Salter wants to start by transforming the way Kara deals with her poor short-term memory. In the same way that you might have organisational problems in life, actually we, we can do that in our brain. If you sort of just put something down when you come in quickly and don't pay attention to where it is, when you go and find it later it's really difficult to find. The better I store it, the more easily I can go and find it later. How much? Six pence. There's a shilling. No, keep the chain. Yeah, she's putting on performance. Claire's showing Kara how to learn her script lines by associating them with colours, sounds, buzzwords and physical movement to anchor them in her long-term memory. She's using the same multi-sensory learning technique that Kara had a taste of at Shapwick School. Hide the Christmas tree carefully, Helen. Be sure the children do not see it until this evening when it is dressed. Does it matter where I put them? No, no, as long as you can anchor and remember your yes, movement. So what I do is get you to go around a number of times like that, sort of yeah. listening and repeating, listening and repeating. Hide the Christmas tree carefully, Helen. Be sure the children do not see it until this evening when it is dressed. Hide the Christmas tree carefully, Helen. Don't let them see it until tonight when it is properly dressed. It's very close. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it wouldn't take very How long much? for it. No, it wouldn't after a few times of repeating. How, How much? There's a shilling. Keep the change. Keep the change. Has my little spendthrift been wasting money again? Yes, Torville, but we can afford to let ourselves go a little. This is the first year that we have not had to economise. It's getting close, getting yeah. yeah. Then she does this then one. she says, poo, poo, but we can borrow until then. Exactly yeah. that. Poo, we can borrow until then. Oh, so. my goodness. <laughs> That's not bad, is it? No, I can see how it's working, though. <laughs> That's the thing, I feel like I've been quite lazy in the past just to think that there's, oh, there's one way and there's, uh, you know, there's, there's so many different ways of doing everything. Yeah. But it's the opposite of lazy, because you were just giving yourself such hard work. Yeah, I know. I'm such a twit. <laughs> Not anymore. These techniques are a revelation. <laughs> But will Kara be brave enough to ditch the habit she's leaned on all her life? I could really benefit massively, and I mean really big time. But just being stuck in my ways, you know, being stuck in the same mould and just being used to that, it's like anything, it's like giving up an addiction, isn't it? It's, that's the way I've done it for so long. Can I suddenly U-turn and, and decide to do something completely different, I don't know, it's a bit... I'm hoping 